This is my supervision of instructional program project. My name is Dennis Felton. This is summer second session 2017 Henderson State University. Had an opportunity to conduct a vision walk with stakeholders of Quest Academy of West Little Rock which involved the student, office manager, teacher, and parent, as well as principal. And the stakeholders, um, they basically have want to provide the community with a high quality school choice that offers an innovative, safe, and encouraging learning environment. They also envision a school that supports professional learning communities and that has high expectations. The good thing about it, all stakeholders were committed to working together to improve the school. And they talked about, we talked a little bit about how we would implement this. And so we talked about developing a district leadership team that would also influence the school leadership team, which would ultimately share the vision with the school personnel and how even stakeholders such as parents and students would be involved with this process. And so we looked at the data, uh, the ACT Aspire 2016 and 2017 scores were just recently released. And the school uh, quickly saw the math and writing were the lowest two, uh, and then reading still area of improvement. And so, looking at their goal they had set, which was all students would increase by 20% by the end of the year, and uh, how that would impact basically students would receive high quality instruction. And the same with math, but the math did not have a actual number, so we'll talk about that here in the revisions. And they also want to include something about the professional development. Uh, stakeholders were very um, concerned about professional development and wanted to ensure that teachers had adequate professional development to ultimately impact student learnings. And they talked about how that students, uh, as teachers, became better teachers, they would have better strategies to reach all students. And so we revised those goals, kind of looking at um, a reading intervention program and using that star reading assessment to monitor the program. For those tier two and tier three students and as well as the math we changed and add that 20 percent growth in there to make it more specific and to also provide better professional development for the resources that we are purchasing uh, the culture survey results came back and based on the mean of 55.2 we can quickly identify that the school culture can use improvement and so we talked about some strengths they identified with the culture, which was that teachers and staff felt like they were involved with the decision making and uh, they enjoyed hanging with each other at work and outside of work and embracing that those celebration of life like holidays and talked about potlucks and talked about uh, staff birthdays. Uh, and then we talked about those uh, areas where opportunities of growth. And so about when things are not working, you know, uh, being more proactive and also about having an open house of school community in which you know we working together to solve problems and then just having those plc's and strengthen those plc's that where teachers and staff are discussing instructional strategies and curriculum had opportunity to spend some time in classrooms which was a little bit uh different because of summer school kind of a uh, blended with hybrid model i would say the students participated in computer assistant instruction and then they got a little bit of direct instruction as well. And so uh, suggestions I had for improving the curriculum and instructional practice were the outcomes were more geared towards activities. And so I improved that the outcomes should basically be written in terms of what students would learn instead of doing. And then just working on those classroom procedures and transitions, it seems teachers didn't spend a lot of time kind of working with those maybe. And it seems like it was kind of, uh, kind of taking away a lot of instructional time, kind of redirecting students and um, ways to get students engaged. Had a lot of sleepers and students getting disengaged and off tasks and just trying to use alternate methods and maybe even engaging in discussion and question techniques like Socratic Circle and Think Pair Share to get more students engaged. Uh, goals we set for the instructional leader in the building is to spend at least eight hours observing classrooms and to block a window on Monday and Thursday from 9 to 10 and 1 to 2. Uh, and everybody should understand this time is protected and it shouldn't be bothered unless it's the emergency and to dedicate and commit to two formal and two informal observations um, and allowing novice teachers to also engage in observation of veteran teachers and also the instructional leader 
is responsible for attending high quality professional development to improve feedback and coaching uh, for the teachers. And so the primary responsibility for these goals is the building of a principal and the resource needed will be internet access, you know, pen and paper for scripting, access to bloom board and high quality professional development. Uh, September 1 is the full anticipate, anticipated implementation date that we're shooting for. Overall, I love this assignment. It was very instrumental to me as an educational leader and uh, as leaders, you know, we must collaborate with stakeholders and be able to develop a shared vision that fosters teaching and learning and, and be open to feedback and allowing these individuals to play a huge role in making data-driven decisions to address the deficiencies. And um, supervision of instruction must be a priority for any education leader and instruction leaders must protect the time and commit to instructional leadership duties. And this includes the coaching, feedback sessions, you know, form observations, inform observations, building levels, leaders must model, you know, that goal setting. And ultimately this learning activity allowed me to design and support a collaborative process uh, for developing a school vision, you know, with stakeholders and it, the experience hands on allowed me to discuss with school a vision and learning and teaching. And then the experience also allowed me to collaborate with building level leaders to identify school needs and develop a comprehensive plan for improving instruction. You know, I plan to utilize this experience in my future roles as superv a supervisor of instruction. I, I do have my references below, which is uh, the framework for teaching, a couple articles we read, uh, my culture survey, and, and the stakeholders that were involved. Thank you.